wants to keep on. Check one, two, check, check, check. No check, cash only. Check, check, check. Can everybody hear? Can you guys hear me out there? Let me know if you can hear me out in the audience. In the chat, give us a little yay or nay on the audio. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Are we live? We're live. Yeah. But the audio vanished. At least we have. Nope, they can't hear us. Yeah, okay. All right. Let me just play around here. Check that um, permission thing again. I don't know what else would have gone out. Uh, we have picture. Yeah. We have picture. Wait, mm -hmm. okay, now it's fine. Hello, hello. Check, check, check. One, yeah. two, one, two. Yeah. Okay. Yes, now it's working. Okay. All right. No check, cash only. Here we go. You better duck when I show up. The Goo Goo Mug. All right. Have you been have you been watching Wednesday? Like a billion other people? Yeah. Yeah. Happy almost new year as we come to uh take the remains of twenty twenty two and bury it in a shallow grave out behind the barn. So join us. How are you guys doing out there? Say howdy in the chat. Alex Painter uh says yes I can hear you. Excellent. Uh, Beth Eagle says you can't Beck, you can't hear us? Teresa Gunn says hello, and Rebecca Evans says hello, Ron. Hi, Rebecca. Let me know who else, if the rest of you guys can hear us. I don't know why. Uh, that's right, that you can hear, too. Okay, good. Beck, can you hear us now? Maybe she's got um, her... Uh, she's in Australia. There might be a little delay. Well, it might, or she might, she might have to use us. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, you'll have to check, because the audio the audio's working now so um somebody message uh back in the chat and tell her that we've got audio going and see if she can hear us yet because because that the sound issue must be on her side at that point so how are you guys doing out there did you uh, have you been enjoying your holidays has it been good you know was the evil Satan, Santa, Easter, funny, goblin, king good to you? Did he bring you nice stuff? How are we doing over there? You're, you're, is there, are we still having technical issues? No, no, I, everybody else says they can hear. Okay. Uh, so I just, uh, good. Asked, uh, are we worried about Max audio? Yeah, I just said, I said, I told our audio was working here. Uh, Don uh, Oldham, uh, the Texas Dead Man, is in the house. Yeah, John. Yeah, Texas Dead Man in the house. Woohoo! Excellent. Uh, Excellent. Rebecca Evans says, uh, in answer to your question, yes. it was okay. Some uh, sick kiddos uh, were in the house. Hope you had a uh, great holiday. Thank you. Yes, in, enjoying it. Um, had uh, um, some of it last night. I had. Uh, a non-traditional uh, holiday meal with my brother. It was pizza. It was Aurelio's. Go to Aurelio's, everybody. If you're in Chicago, Aurelio's. But you have to go to the mothership in Homewood or go to Crete. They have the old ovens. Freaking awesome. Highly recommended. We're going to have to live stream from Aurelio's one of these oh, days. Yeah. How cool would that be? be awesome. We're going to have to talk to them about that. <laughs> <laughs> pizza while we work. That'll be fun. So yeah, I, I, Rebecca, I'm I'm sorry people were sick at your house. Are the are the kiddos feeling better now? I hope everybody's getting over whatever gunk they had going on. <laughs> Alec Raymond said it in response to your yes. thing about you know, uh, says, uh, no, that little shit didn't bring me. Yeah. He didn't oh. bring you anything. Well, tonight will will be your present then. <laughs> the gift of live stream. Oh, excellent. Good, Rebecca. Good, 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 good. I'm glad to hear that. It will be fun. So what out there, you know, if anybody else wants to, you know, tell us how your holiday is is, is going or, or 
how everything was, has been for your, you know, uh, Christmas, New Year, holiday kind of thing, whether you did Yule or sacrificed a virgin, whatever you do for the holidays, it's good. It's all good here in the realm. And, uh, huh? We don't judge. We don't judge. This is a safe place. <laughs> Mostly, right? More God says yes to that. Um, and um, and uh, well, once is anybody else checking in on that? Uh, um, Alex Painter uh, said pizza yum. Yes. Beck says, uh, "Oh my, I'm not sure what happened, but I can hear you now." Oh, excellent, good. They're just you. You are on the other side of the world, so there might be a little delay happening. You might have been hearing it. Right. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. It was getting to her and we had we had sorted it out on our end, but it hadn't gotten all the way to Australia yet. So, fact, thank you for showing up. We always love that you're here from down under. Why does that sound so dirty? I don't know <laughs> why, but thank you for making me feel, you know, naughty. Uh, the gentleman says, uh, the Texas dead man mm -hmm. is glad the holidays are about over. <laughs> do you have holiday fatigue, Texas dead man? I think a lot of people do. A lot of people are like, I'm over it. I'm done. And they are, they're ready, ready for the next one. Perfect. So what did you guys out there, uh, what were your takeaways? The good things that you got out of 2022, like once you hung up 2022 and you beat it like a pinata, you know, what came out its bunghole, you know? And it was good that you enjoyed this year. So let us know. Put that down in the chat. I mean, everybody's still raving about the billion views on uh, Wednesday, Wednesday Adams on Netflix by Tim Burton. And I enjoyed the hell out of it. Morgoth loved it. Oh, yeah. Did Mrs. Morgoth love it? Good. Yeah, thank you. All right. We, it, we all love it. Somebody hasn't seen it yet. About five minutes ago. She saw, yeah. We she was, it, yeah. yeah. She was just looking at the, the, the dance. The viral dance. So we'll have to make our viral dance video. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. So and actually, I've got a picture. She mentioned her when she was putting together the dance. She mentions that she used some of the footwork of the original Wednesday Adams, uh, Lisa Loring. And we got a nice picture here of me and yeah. Lisa Loring, the original Wednesday Adams from the TV show in the 60s. That's her. And she's preserved quite nicely. Lisa looks amazing. And, and I love that dress she's wearing in the photo. The the yeah, end. the skulls on the front and kind of a Wednesday-ish collar on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. And she's super awesome. I, I, I met her at a couple of horror conventions I've done and on a haunted attraction. Castle Blood, actually, out in Pennsylvania. So howdy if anybody from the castle is watching. And uh, she's very awesome. If you, if you ever see her at an event or something, you know, go, go see her and go, go say hi because you'll, you'll dig her. She's very cool. Uh, Glenn, Fast. Glenn, yeah, I know Glenn. Just checking in to see what condition my condition is. I hope your condition is good. Our condition is good. Bill Baldwin says, hey, there's, there's somebody. Bill, I'm glad to hear from you. I was worried you were still buried in a snowbank somewhere. He's in Buffalo, and oh, you yeah. guys got slaughtered in that snow. So I hope everything is good with you and yours out there. I hope you, I'm glad you're on here. That that means you have internet and hopefully power and heat and you're you're safe. So I'm glad you checked in, buddy. I'm glad you're out there. Let's see. Uh, Rebecca Evans says, loved Wednesdays. Yes, uh, good. Yeah. Beck Eagles says, I watched it all one go. Wow. I love it. Can't wait to see more. Can't wait to see more. That's excellent. Yeah, Beck, I, I binged it in like two sessions, you know? So I'm like you. I just I just sat down and just took it all in. This is more about maybe going out. <laughs> Did you want to binge it? She didn't want to binge it. She wanted to save it for me. Well, well no, I it. got that. But did you want to binge it? Oh, did yeah. you want to just keep watching? Yeah, that's how I was. Uh, so. Okay, Don. We are watching Wednesday this week. Like it so far. Good. You'll love it. You love it. Have you gotten to the dance yet? You need some. You need some Google. Third episode, isn't it? I think so. The dance. Yeah. So when you get to the Goo Goo Muck, let me know. Hi, Hello, Sue. Thank you for joining us. Yay. Oh, good. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that thing that's so good. I'm yeah, I'm like, I'm sure there'll be another season of that. And I can't I think we all want it already, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. 
I'm ready for more. Yes, cigars and stripes checking in. Hi, Ronnie. How you doing, man? <laughs> We're going to take it out back behind the mausoleum and just bury it in a shallow grave. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I love that. It's a great picture. She looks so awesome. I had to get another picture with her because she had that great outfit on. And I, you know, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's, and she's very nice. So, yeah, thank you. Uh, John Olin says she's freaking hot. Me, me or Wednesday? <laughs> yes. No, no, no. He likes it when I have uh, all the hot ladies on and stuff. Yes, yes, excellent. Yeah, well, he was there when I met her the first time. That's right, because it was out at Castle Blood, and Bill plays uh, Belfry out at the castle. Good, 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 good. Good. I'm glad. Well, they were worried about flooding, actually, because there was so much snow in Buffalo, and it was going to melt because of the rain, yeah. and they were worried about flooding. Did, did you get flooding, Bill? Is, is it, um, I hope, I don't know where your place is at. I hope you're on high enough ground. Uh, so, says, um, are you both going to dance tonight? <laughs> uh, Kelly says she'd like a rehearsal. <laughs> She's a trained dancer, so... You'll you'll get some you'll get some goo goo muck, but uh, let us work on it first, right? I like that idea. All right, good. Yes, and I'm not putting my hair in braids for anybody. I'm just I'm not. Uh, Al Craven uh, says uh, all of your live shows were a hit for me, and Netflix is one of Who said that? Uh, that's Raven. Raven. Well, thank you, my friend. Thank you. So, yeah, more, and we'll have more coming up. We're going to have another one. I want to tease this right now. We've got an announcement I'm going to make uh, about a new project. And uh, there's the only, and the first and only, Friday the 13th of 2023 will be in like two weeks. It'll be in January. So on Friday the 13th in January, there will be another live stream. And like, so like a couple weeks away, two weeks away. And I'm going to announce uh, a cool new project that I think you guys will be rather excited about happy new year thanks for checking in and again uh to tell everybody to go watch um uh, hmod and me doing a little uh vocals on it uh check out our and i'm sure you i think you guys probably all seen it already but go take another look uh for new year's on uh, a monster match the videos on my youtube channel and then show everybody else. Share the crap out of that. You know, just put it out there for New Year's Eve just to amuse people. Uh, William Lyman says hello. Hello. Yeah, I, I was talking to her earlier, and she's talking about a new horror con we're going to chat about. And, um, and yeah, and I told her what I was doing tonight. I'm going to talk to her afterwards, but I'm glad you showed up for the uh, live stream. Thank you. Uh, so Baldwin is not really on the flooding yeah good good i'm glad i'm glad that it that it wasn't causing you guys i mean you had enough trouble with the cold and the snow so good oh uh, thank you joe we love you too he is an awesome dj in fact he he spins he plays stuff out at for uh ronnie out at uh, uh cigars and stripes oh. and they're in Ber for anybody out there if you're in berwin you have to stop and check out uh cigars and stripes they have amazing food out there, and their 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 Bloody Mary is to die for. Uh, Kevin uh, Carson says, "Punk Monk sixty nine present in a Yes, Punk Monk sixty nine. There he is. Do we have two Punk Monks out there? Because Mister Dark Raven is number one, and he's Mister Happy's Hulkhead, and oh my God, I think it's Marty. <laughs> William Wyman says, uh, William wants to do a film with you. He wants to be a, uh, a victim pop. <laughs> we, we can do that. We can make that happen. And, uh, and our new movie, Bodies, 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 which uh, <laughs> a, 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 a ironically happens in a strip club. I don't understand, but that's, yeah. I just watched the movie yesterday, too, because uh, Google Girl. 
Oh, great. What was oh, that about? Oh, incredible. Was it? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Bad acting, you know, uh, bad uh, script code stuff. Director Gunner was Teddy Young was in it for like Wow. Have you ever watched, um, oh, what is it now? Come on, it was just in my head. Uh, the one with Robert England in it. Um, oh, yeah, Zombie Strippers. Zombie Strippers, yes. Yeah, that's a good one. That is good. I liked that one a lot. So, Zombie Strippers in the audience, tell us in the chat if you've seen Zombie Strippers. Mary, uh, Jake, uh, Jackman, 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 Jackman. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, Mary. Hi, Mary. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. uh, Jamie. Yes, Jamie, Jamie. There you are. Oh, yeah, we were chatting earlier. Yeah, yeah. How are you doing? I think she's in Facebook jail again. Oh, uh, they, they just, she gets out for five minutes, she posts a couple of things, and then they throw her right back in jail. The Zuckerbergler is not nice to her. Kevin uh, Tarson says Minnie Monk is here also as well. Minnie Monk. Uh, Rebecca Evans is Phoenix. Yeah, there you go, Rebecca. Yeah. And Bill Baldwin says yes to Zombie Strippers. <laughs> That's awesome. It's in my Blu-ray collection. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Tarson uh, uh, says Zombie Strippers was awesome. Yes, it was. Yeah. I had a good time with it. I, was, I think that was the very first thing I watched on Netflix. Will, William Wyman says, our oldest boy, Austin, says he can't wait to meet you. Awesome. Yeah, he wasn't, when you guys came out on your trip, he wasn't with you, was he? No. So, yes, we got to do that. And Mary says, uh, last all, uh, yep, Facebook, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, yeah, well, you know. You know you're doing something right if you're pissing off the Zuckerbergler. <laughs> I, you know, I can only say yes to that. Please keep, yeah, keep, uh, keep them uh, on their toes. <laughs> awesome. We have, oh, yeah, we have another picture in there, too, we want to share with you. Uh, Kelly and I, we did, uh, this will be a while ago now, but we did, a, we did a photo shoot. And here's a fun little picture from that photo shoot we did with some spider. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that was uh, Sherry. That's Sherry Fry. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's okay. Sherry's. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Sherry, Sherry shows up for our live stream sometimes. So Sherry, uh, Sherry Frey, if uh, you're out there, thank you for the photo. Yeah, we okay. did that. Oh, uh, we really need to do something else with. Yeah, <laughs> I love that photo. It's uh, the spiders from Mars. Love it. And uh, since we were talking about the holidays and stuff, we have a special little video of uh, evil Santa because um, we're pretty sure Santa is a vampire. I'm pretty sure this is our video proof of that. So take a quick look at this. Ready? Yeah. Oh, 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 Santa's hungry. Ah. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> play it again. Play it one more time, just for the hell of it. It's okay. short. It's only nine. Oh, oh, oh. Santa's hungry. Ah. All right. Now, because I am obsessed with Tesla's three six nine theory, we have to play it one more time. Okay. All right. One well, just. Oh, oh, oh. Santa's hungry. Okay, so I'm, I'm hoping Santa has you, some of you amused and some of you mildly turned on. Why, I don't know, but it's the uh, vampire. Rebecca, thing. Uh, yeah. Says yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca. Uh, Craig uh, Lemon says zombie strippers, which all takes the uh, year ready for another dark and sticky year in 2023. Yes, Craig, we need to do another project together. We need to do, he's in Dark Realm. He's one of our, our guys in Dark Realm. Craig's the guy that gets thrown out by our security guy, played oh, by yeah. by Mister O himself, Al Burke. And Al's in like a hundred. He has like over a hundred movie credits. Al is awesome. So and so is Craig. Thank you very much for being here with us tonight. But we need to do something else. We need to make our own version of Zombie Strippers, don't you think? Oh, yeah. yeah. Bodies, bodies, bodies. <laughs> uh, William Wyman says, "Hey, Ron, uh, is Cell Wizard the Santa guy still around?" I believe he is. I think he had had uh, like a health issue or something for a while. But as far as I know, uh, 
Al uh, Lazard is doing well. And Van, and Al, for the, those of you who don't know, I wish I would have loaded the picture in now. Um, but he does Vampire Santa. Oh, you, oh yes, Father Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's got the full, the, the white hair and the beard and everything. And um, when he does horror conventions, because he's, he's an actor, and he does a lot of Santa stuff, of course. But then at the horror conventions, he pops in the fangs and he does Vampire Santa. Uh, and, and that that actually, the, the, the Santa clip was me doing Santa. We did that on the cable TV show back, back before the war on terror, boys and girls, uh, back in the 90s. And if you want to see the full episode that that comes from, it's the one labeled uh, the Christmas Chainsaw Massacre. And it's down in the Fitzgerald realm cult classic cable TV uh, playlist. Yes, Sue. Yes, it does. Santa, will, Santa will nibble you everywhere. So you have to, you have to remember, you know, you, you, you know, only let him go as far as you want him to go. Hello. <laughs> William, yes. Kevin uh, Carson says, don't forget to mention meth addicted small Santa. May you rest in pieces. Pieces, chop. Yeah, we we don't mall Santa. Actually, man, there's a whole voodoo baby rant on mall Santa, and I think that mall Santa rant is in uh, the uh, Christmas Chainsaw Massacre episode. So if you want to see Voodoo Baby go on a great rant, check that one out. William says that, I love the gargoyles in the backdrop. Thank you. We have a swanky, uh, twanky dungeon going on here, don't we? What's that? He's in? Yeah. Yeah. Of course, if we do bodies, 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 we have to have Bill, Bill, Bill. <laughs> he is an actor as well. He's done a lot of cool things on stage. He's done a lot of a lot of theater work. Uncle Wiggly had a crawl space. You guys want to sing the Uncle Wiggly song? Because the other big thing on Netflix this year, Dahmer. The Dahmer mini series. Did you guys watch the Dahmer thing? Did you watch? I don't the have Dahmer? Netflix. So you don't I have that. We'll get some wine. You can come over. We'll yeah. binge it. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. yeah. So let, let us know if you watch Dahmer, because that kind of took place in the Chicago area along with Milwaukee, where he was from. And uh, but he, he used to come down and troll for dudes in the in our nightlife down yeah. here. Oh yeah. Yeah, he was in Boys Town here in Chicago, and he came looking, you know, for people down here. So super creepy and way too close to home. Yes, yeah, the, the burlesque show I, I hosted and performed in. Uh, I'm still wearing my pasties right now, thank you. <laughs> They're bat pasties. They go with the coat. Adam <laughs> Garland. Yeah, because festival. What's that? No, you're fine. We'll get you more magnification. Hello, Adam. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, yes. Alexander. Uh, yeah. Hi, Mr. Ron Wall. Hello, Alexander. Uh, you're back. And I'm back. Thank you. Yes. We are back. We have saddled up the the, uh, the the big beast from hell, and we are writing it back into your live stream again tonight. William Wyman says, I'm working on your details now, getting your stickers on. You are awesome. Thank you. And didn't you say the, the coffin came in? She she made that cool clock coffin for me, and I asked her to get me another one, just the, the box, because it's coffin shaped. Right. And oh, I'm going to have to run up there and show it. If you hang on, because you're on tonight, I'm going to run into the mansion later and I will bring your clock down and show it to everybody. So, oh, okay, yeah. yeah, you guys, you guys hang on and then we'll get that. And Where, it's right in the, in the, 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 the main parlor. Oh. 
Um, you know the the cabinet underneath the the artwork from the comic. Yes. It's the big coffin right on that little cabinet on the um, the east wall. Oh, thank you, Kate. Mrs. Morgoth running to get it right now, so we'll have it in a sec. Craig Lemon says, definitely would love to work with you again. Yeah, thank you. Remember you. when we did Fang? Yes. Uh, I just worked with Vinny and John a few months ago. And we all got to get back together. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah, was that up that other movie project? Because Vinny was telling me about that, that he was helping somebody with something, but I didn't know who all was involved in that. But yes, we definitely need to work together again. Yeah. Funny, uh, let's say I'm going to see you preach on Friday, the 13th. Perfect. Yes, please come and join us. Um, you'll like the announcement, and it's always fun. Thank you for being with us and for you guys again. Head on out to Stars, Cigars and Stripes out in uh, Berwyn, Illinois, if you're anywhere in the area. Awesome food. Go in there and say, uh, tell Ronnie the, the Realm Ward sent you. Uh, Joe Cook says, I wouldn't want to be uh, a body, but could be someone who took spike in your new film. Oh, I like the sound of that. You know. Hey, you see, uh, the top, or the, the top. What's that? Hey, Oh, yes, thank you. Come on down. Now, how do I need to move? Can you, are we getting a clear shot of that? All right. Look at the likeness she got on there. That creepy dude looks just like me. And she's got razor blades on it and the logo and the, the you know, the orb from the, that floats around from the show. Yeah, amazing. She makes these things, people, and she's got lots of horror-themed ones, different different ones. I saw, I think she made a Hellraiser one and stuff, too. Super cool. If you want one, we'll try and get you a link. What, what, where should they go? You have a, a page for these on Facebook, don't you? What's the name of that again, Christine? Yeah. Miss Melly Monster. Yay, everybody say hi to Melly Monster. Oh, I should have had Kate grab my bag, too. I want to show my bag. Yeah, yeah, grab and then grab the, the bag. You know the, the yeah, the scully bag. Yeah. No, I, I should tell you, but yeah, thank you. Uh says, yeah, um it will all be packaged together. The movie? No, um William Kleinman. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, the the decal and everything. But I was wondering if there's a somewhere we could send people to go you know, look at the, the clocks, the awesome clocks yeah. and things you make. Uh, so so if anybody wants yeah, one of their own. Oh, you, yeah. You guys just drop your link yeah. uh, to your page where they can find you in the in the comments in there. And did Housemaid of Dawn drop a link to anything in there? I don't know no. if they had time. All right. Well, and Housemaid of Dawn, you know, our, our favorite goth industrial band, uh, you can find them on Spotify and anywhere you get your music. Go look for House Made of Dawn, and the the album with the uh, with Monster Mash and everything on it is on the album All Hollows. But go find them on Spotify and stream all their stuff because you'll you'll love all that music. It's awesome. There's a big black skull one by um, by uh, Harvey with the light shoved in him. It's it, it's big. It's like that big. It's a rolly bag. Uh, says, "Ooh, that is cool." Thank you. Yeah, uh, you, they were so nice. They, they were on a trip last year, and and, um, and Christine and William were coming through, and they stopped by, and she had made me this awesome, awesome coffin clock. So, thank Rebecca you. Evans says, beautiful. Uh, William Wyman says, yeah, one of the kind of stuff, and then put the, uh, the web page. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Yeah, drop all that right down in there, so that way, you know, they can find you. Anybody who's interested, just read the comments. Yeah, take a look at the comments. You can go right down in there and and find uh, when you know, on William's uh, comments in there, and you'll have information. And go check check their stuff out. Check it out. It's coming down. And then Kevin uh, Carson says, "Yeah, show us your staff." Show us the what? Show us your staff. The staff. What? Staff. The staff? No staff. Staff. That's a Never mind. 
I, I, he wants you to show your junk. Oh, is that what he's saying? Yeah. He wants to see the realm rock. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's that's nice. <laughs> Melly might like that. Um, yeah, hmm? Okay, I will. Yeah. Oh no, I got it. There's a little handle on it. Now you can see it, right? Yeah, there it is. Miss Millie Monster got me a nice new rolly bag, which is a big old skull. How awesome is that? So this way, when I go through the airport at security, I can they can go, what's in the bag? And I can go, my kitty is not feeling well. So I got him in a scully bag. So thank you, Miss Millie Monster. And it's, uh, you can see that the bat, it's a, uh, made by Killstar. So you, you gothier types all know Killstar, and they make some nice stuff. And I will love rolling around with uh, stuff, show things in the Scully bag. So check out Killstar. That, this is, that's not, I'm not sponsored by them or anything. Uh, this is from Miss Melly Monster, uh, but I do love their stuff, which is, of course, oh, so does she. She's got, they got another one that's shaped like a coffin, which is awesome. And, and she's got one of those. So thank you. Uh, Becca says nice. Uh, Becca says that's awesome. William uh, says that's cool. Bill Baldwin says mm. <laughs> Bill wants one now. I know he does. And then David Madison. Uh, David, says, hello. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thanks for joining us, David. That is great. Uh, awesome. Hey, glad to have you. Lauren Jen Wilson says I wear a lot of uh, silk stuff. Do you? There you go. The whipping boy, you'll see him on the cable show if you go back there and watch that too. He is, he is the whipping boy. They, they have a lot of cool stuff inside. They, they, they have all kinds of cool stuff. I mean, they've got everything from, you know, uh, clothing to uh, bedding to uh, housewares to luggage. They, you know, it's it's a it's a gothy lifestyle um, brand, and I like them. I like them a lot. So. I'm glad you guys like the bag. I certainly like the bag. Thank you, Miss Melly Monster. Mr. Hey, what, how was your holiday? It was good. Very small. Immediate family. But Neat and tidy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like we don't have the big Christmases anymore since everybody's kind of moved away or gone. So it's yeah. It's nice and small. So we did um, Christmas Eve dinner mm -hmm. at my sister's place and then... My brother came down for Christmas Day. And yeah. Two days of too much food and lots of presents. Mm-hmm. And then everyone's bloated till New Year. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> right. They, they always do. They always do. They need to, they need to put together like a gothic gym, like a gothic horror gym, you know? That would, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, exactly. You would you would have mistresses go around and flog you while you're on your machine. It's perfect. And then you just play Rammstein the whole time. That'll get you moving. That shit will get you moving. So, <laughs> what do you guys think? You ready to go to the gothic Rammstein gym? Mm -hmm. We'll play some HMOD. Oh, yeah. It'll be perfect. It'll be great. Little Sisters of Mercy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lauren, any suggestions? Lauren's great with music. You might even get to hear some of his music that he's made in there. Oh, really? He makes music too. Yeah. He has multi talented and entirely dangerous. So, so we're going to. What would be, say, the three best things about 2022 as a three words? For, for us? Yeah. Uh, you you want to start? Um, three, three up, three down on 2022. I got the best job that I've ever had so far. Like awesome. Wise and the work is just killing me. Take oh. their money. Take all their money. <laughs> um, what else? My health has been good. This could have been way worse. And I'm here. Everybody in my immediate mm -hmm. family is here. We know people that have had it a lot worse. So oh yeah. Can't complain there. Oh yeah. Yeah. And my parents got a new cat. His name is Frank. Frank the cat, I love it. He's a Siamese mix. He's a real yes, the Siamese, the, they're they're nice, handsome kitties. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's my three outs. All right, do you want to go through any downs? Um, down. Let's see. Doctors can't figure out 
what's going on. Well, they just haven't run past to yeah. find out this, like, 50-pound weight gain that I've had over the past, like, mm. few yeah. years. So I've yeah. really been living in, like, hypothyroid symptoms, but, you know, blood They're not treating it? Back. Yeah, so nothing's been done, nothing's been diagnosed. Fire them, get a new doctor. Yeah, I've been doing that. It's been a while. Remember, I, it's my, my from I had to deal with the medical community a lot as well. So remember, they work for you, not the other way around. If they're not doing you good, fire their ass. Get another one. You you, mm. you very much have to be your own advocate in the medical system. So don't be afraid to go. Hey, you suck, and then fire them. <laughs> It doesn't have to be just because he's morbidly looking for something <laughs> doesn't mean you have to. You, you don't feel compelled to give him a lot of negative. He doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> he's just being his grinchy self right now. That's what you're getting. So I hit my first deer this year. Oh, really? The deer hit me. Like they will. They will charge you, yeah, kind of. They will go right, right into a car. Mm -hmm. The car was done, but if you look at the pictures, it looks crashed and. Mm -hmm. But then we left it with a family mechanic friend of mine, and I get home, and my parents are like, oh, you got your car back. I'm like, oh, okay, and I walk by, it and it looks brand new. Wow. And I'm like, what did you do? And I was like, oh, my God, I was like, did you do all the body works? I literally left it there mm -hmm. for, like, breaks and, like, wow. a new headlight. And he's like, no, I just pulled the dent out. Yeah, they can pop the dent out. Yeah, like, literally the door wouldn't open all the way. Like, it was so smashed Well, in. you should have sent it back and go paint it black, put a bat <laughs> on the hood, and we're good. Yeah, like it looked horrible. But <laughs> I'm like, did you do? And I was like, I mean, you didn't tell me you were a body man. And then he was like, no, I just pulled the dent out. Yeah, wow. Headlights, like, and, you know, it would have been like fifteen hundred dollars. Did he? Did, did you then mount the antlers on the hood? No, I didn't no? keep the antlers. But you didn't. Yeah, but I like. Did it? Did it do in the deer? Was that the end of Mister Deer? Uh, the cops came by and there was a blood spray on the ground. So now I'm hungry. Yeah. I, <laughs> Mr. Deer got his brains blown out. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That and kind of an Ecto-1 kind of uh, alarm that you can yeah. turn on when you drive through the forest preserve to go, and then the, the antlers. The forest preserve. Yeah, I, that's where they always, they come yeah. out and they want to cross the road and then all of a sudden, you know, splat. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it ain't pretty. No. It is not good. But it scares the hell out of you when those things hit the car, doesn't it? Uh, it hit the car, and then I look down, and I literally see, like, here's my, like, side here, and you see its face looking up at me as it's falling yeah. into the ground. Well, you're lucky you, you got to keep it. Most of the time, they'll take those things right off. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to look it in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I laughing? She's like, Mrs. Morgoth is sad. I'm chuckling. Yes, Morgoth is chuckling. I'm Before chuckling. Yeah. Got there, I see he tried to raise his head and get up, and he couldn't. He like went back down to the ground. Oh. Did you did you get his head to make a deer puppet out of it? <laughs> Come on, we need a not. yeah. We can make like horror deer puppet theater on the show <laughs> next time. Maybe maybe for Friday the Thirteenth we'll have the deer puppet. Yeah. Go along with this. He sounds with the idea of the. He's in? All right. William Bowe says, God, this would be great. He suggests the third person in Iron Maiden. Yes. Kevin Basaki says, Happy New Year to everyone. Kevin, thanks for joining us. Happy New Year. Yeah, it is the EV. Well, to me, tonight is like, you know how the 30th, the night before Halloween on the 31st in October is Devil's Night. So it's kind of like Devil's Night for the whole year tonight, don't you think? Yes, yes. Anybody else? Devil's Night for the whole year? Maybe Beelzebub Night. We could give it a different branding. It'll be Beelzebub Night. Agnes Bernoy says this guy's amazing. Wait, wait, who? What? Me? Thank you, Agnes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I see. William Wyman says this is take a. Sorry, my idea. Uh, herbal healing. I had to go to an herbalologist school and have nearly healed William's Crohn's and my own thyroid. Mm -hmm. I need that. Uh, let's see. Uh, Lauren, uh, again, says, here's my recipe for blood white. Yeah. Uh, 
Apple cream, tomato juice, that's a pulp free orange juice, almost as good as the real thing. Wow. It would have that tang in there from the orange juice in it. That's a great idea. Mm hmm. Yeah. Kevin says, you know, which is like this is a deer, free meat for killing your jerky. I agree. Mm hmm. Jerky always scares me though, because I don't want to eat anything that looks like Freddy Krueger's foreskin. There's just that's just creepy to me. That's just yeah, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's going no Freddy Krueger yeah. foreskin, right? You did you get a nice visual in your head for that? Uh, something I didn't need. <laughs> <laughs> I can only say you're welcome. All right, that's that's it. So and, and enjoy that out in the chat, by the way, if you. Yeah, you're welcome. Now, I remember, <laughs> it was funny because the first time I said that was on a road trip out to Castle Blood to see Bill and Ricky and the rest of, of uh, the our, my friends out there. And um, on the way, we stopped and, and our friend Mark uh, got a big bag of like chunk jerky and he offers me a piece. And I'm like, I'm not eating anything that looks like Freddy Krueger's foreskin. And I'm like, <laughs> so what, we're going to have to write that joke into bodies, bodies, bodies. When we make the script, uh, guys, yeah, Craig, <laughs> Bill, uh, Vicky, uh, Fitzgerald, Vicky, Ivan, and Mrs. hello, uh, who cooks, uh, mm. yes, yeah, that is good. The, the, the alternative stuff will help, yeah. yeah. I've done a bunch of it. You need somebody that knows what they're doing that, too. They're like anybody else, like any doctor. You gotta, they, you gotta vet them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, India? Yes, I'll look here with India. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, she okay. does, okay. and she's into that acupuncture and, and okay. massage and all those yeah. things. So, um, if she doesn't do it herself, she'll be able to hook you up with somebody local. Awesome. Yeah, I have some great acupuncturists. Awesome. Yeah. Them, yeah. You just love so being getting so poked. Yes, yes. What's that? I said sometimes you tend to go the other way. Yes. Yeah. So what are uh, Ron, what are your three ups and downs? Uh three ups. I'm still alive. Uh which, it's always an up, right? Yeah. Uh the, the jaw surgery is healing up nicely, don't you think? Yeah. Uh so that's a plus. What else is a plus? I started a new project. Did a well I will announce on on the thirteenth, but I've I've already been working on it for a few months actually. Um, what else? There, there's a lot, of, you know. What about uh, three downs? Well, I have, I've only given you two ups. No, you gave, you gave, uh, two uh, jaw. jaw. Went up. Well, I did say that I'm alive, but that's really yeah. part of the jaw okay. thing. So, so you get one more. Uh, so I get one more. I get one more. I get one more. Uh, um, uh, uh, um, wait, I know, I know, I just on the tip of my tongue. What am I thinking? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Putin hasn't nuked me yet. So we're good. Yes. No nuke. No nuke. No nuke. Uh, I, he's insane is what he is. He's he's out of his freaking mind. Um, but um, some people thought his body language that he I've heard a lot of theory. I've heard a I've heard a lot of theories about that, that he's not well and that, that that's part of why he's being so out. Really, he's gonna leave a crater is what he's gonna leave. Yeah, it's uh it's uh it's 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 uh it's creepy. Not in the fun way. Like we like creepy, uh, it's just not in the fun way. So uh there is that, which I suppose is uh one of the ups for all of us. So we all get a bonus up there. <laughs> it's like it was in the eighties when all the music on there, all, all the alternative music was talking about uh get you know, nuclear war and all that stuff, and it's like hmm you can yeah exactly you can leave your friends behind because if your friends don't dance and if they don't dance then they're no friends of mine it's sad that i still remember that it is bill you remember it too you know you do all right and i probably more than bill too out there so what do we got next we're gonna are we gonna roll would you guys like to see uh a, a little bit of my work a little illusion yes Let's take a look, and this is uh, this is an illusion right out of you get to see a little bit of uh, dark realm here with uh, myself and the lovely, lovely, lovely Kaylee Williams. The same movie, Dark Realm, that I was talking about with uh, Craig is one of our uh, fellow actors in that, 
And um, and you can watch it if you like the clip. Um, then you can uh, you, we remember that it's uh, it's up there for you to watch on uh, Amazon Prime Video. So you can always check it out there. And I believe there is a link. There is a link, or I'll I'll put it down below later. Uh, but anyway, are we ready to roll that? Are you guys ready out there in the chat? Ready for a little, uh, a little bit of ooky spooky in the in the um, torturous illusion kind of thing? <laughs> You're welcome. I've got a I've got a lot of uh, I've got a lot of lyric stuff in my head. Yeah, yeah. Ready? Yes. Let's go. Here we go with a little a uh, little ma magic, a little illusion, a little gothic illusion from. Dark realm. I made a pilgrimage to the ancient Gothic temple in the middle of nowhere, and the goddess I found within spoke these words to me. There are already far too many mediocre things in this life. Love should never be one of them. And then she fell silent. <laughs> go how is that a little bit of dark realm for you guys where i get to torture the lovely and talented kaylee williams for your entertainment pleasure which i love i love to do that 
we'll have we'll have a, uh, some live shows and some conventions coming up in the new year as well, which is another up for me. Thank you, Rebecca, and thank you both. Great. Bill Baldwin says, "Wow, I've lost count how many times I've seen and helped with that." Oh yeah, oh yes, you have. Yep. Awesome. And, and by the way, speaking of Dark Realm, um, we're going to give you a quick look at the trailer right now. You know, they say that place is haunted. Like the Phantom of the Opera, only for real. We should fit right in then, don't you think? This is dark, sticky, vampire fun! Hit it! I do this tonight. I think something bad happened to Rita. Just because she had a nightmare about her losing her head, that's no reason for you to lose yours. And we're back. Here we are. All right. And, and I want to remind you that, the, again, the, the movie Dark Realm, you can watch it. And Craig, Craig's in there, too. Craig Lemon. Uh, it is on Amazon Prime Video. Go check it out. It's, uh, it's a great watch. We get a lot of high marks. And it's, it's my live Gothic Illusion show meshed with a horror film narrative. So go check it out. Enjoy. If you do, go watch it. Or if you have watched it, go leave me a nice review on Amazon so other people know that they should check it out. And um, the music, if you're wondering and recognize it, House Made of Dawn, once again, and it, that the, all the music from the movie Dark Realm is on an album called Realm, uh, music from the movie House uh, uh, Dark Realm, that's also by House Made of Dawn, and you can, you can listen to it on Spotify, you can get it right there uh, with the movie on Amazon. So check it out, House Made of Dawn, that one's on Realm, uh, the Dark Realm, kind of the unofficial Dark Realm soundtrack, because they did the score and the majority of the songs, but there's also, we have some older, other indie artists in it, too, um, that are not on, on Realm. That's all of the work from HMOD. But also, uh, if you're familiar with uh, the awesome Aurelio Voltaire or Sinister Fate or the Damn Bats, they're in there on, on the indie side of it. The uh, Realm, uh, do we have a cover of it? Uh, if you look in the photos, we, we might just have, there you go. There you go. And that's what the album looks like. You, you actually, I'm on the cover of that one because, um, and there's a second, uh, Ron in there. If you can find it, that's their little, I I'm also, I'm on it. And I'm also the Easter egg on the album, which is weird. Uh, there is. There's a second, there's the, oh, yeah. my evil clone. Yeah. So that's Realm by House Made of Dawn. And the one with Monster Mash most recently is um, uh, All Hollows. So check them out. And now uh, with something about things you can do, new, your, your rituals for the new year, how to get your year started, Mrs. Mortha. Say hi, everybody in the chat. Yeah. She is. Yeah, no, you're wonderful. And you smell nice tonight, too. I don't know what you're wearing, but it felt very nice. Some stink juice. Yummy. <laughs> so yes. what what do we have? What do you what do you uh, have for us for the new year and our rituals? I looked through a few of the rituals mm -hmm. that I thought would be really helpful for you going into the new year. Yeah. Um, from a food standpoint, mm -hmm. they say that you should eat 12 grapes. On no more, no less. 
12 grades. Uh, is this like for New Year's Day? New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. You're supposed to bring good luck. Uh, does it count if it's in the form of, of, of champagne? If it's someone that's 12 ounces of, of wine, it's fine, too. There you go. Well, you drink enough wine, yeah. you might think you already have good luck anyway. So that's good. Absolutely. Then the one that I really like mm -hmm. was you should never eat lobster, crab, or chicken on New Year's Eve. Wow. So that particular surf and turf not happen on New no, Year's Eve. Because a crab goes backwards, so no, that'll set sideways. Oh. Sideways. Which one? I'm starting with the lobster. Sorry. The lobster goes backwards. And if that oh, happens, yeah. then you'll be always going backwards all year long. And we've had enough 2022. So uh, you don't want to do no that. lobster. All right. The crab is sort of the same thing because it goes sideways. I know because I'm a mojo. I'm a Cancerian, so you know, we're we're crabby, we're crabs. And no, yeah, it, it's that whole creepy sideways thing. Kind of like you know the Google Muck dance. There you go. But I was kind of surprised that chicken. Yeah. Now what's I the chicken a lot? No wonder I have too much problems. What? What's the what? Then it then has if it's wings and it'll make your your wealth fly away. Oh, so it's about your wealth flying away? Yeah. Well, we don't need that with inflation where it's at. So yeah. no, right? So no. So in chicken. order to keep your wealth. Yes. You want to make sure that you go to the cash station and you get some money and you put some extra money in your wallet and keep it there over New Year's and New Year's Day. Oh, yeah. You are never supposed to go shopping on New Year's Day and spend any money. I have heard you that. Spend, yeah. It goes yeah. out the door. Mm -hmm. So the only other thing you need to do is at midnight, mm -hmm. a little before you go and open up a door, open up a window so you can get the bad mojo out and let the good New Year's stuff come in. Now, does that have anything to do with the cinnamon ritual where you go out and then you blow the cinnamon into the house? For, uh, for no, um, prosperity, yeah. He's allergic to cinnamon. I wouldn't do that. No, I know we can't feed it to him. <laughs> I got to keep it out of his coffee when I'm making him coffee. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to poison him. Cinnamon roll. I, you know, I get the cinnamon roll. <laughs> then we all know about the one where you're supposed to make a lot of noise to keep the evil spirits away. You're oh yeah. To kiss your significant other so that you have love all year long. Mm hmm But the one that I really like. And what yeah. I'm really trying to figure out how I'm going to accomplish is that for good luck and happiness through the year for all the women, you should find some young, dark-haired stranger to come to your door at midnight and you, at, you invite them in and you'll have a wonderful year going forward. And you'll also have a vampire in your house. Yeah. yeah. Well, if he's good-looking enough and handsome enough, and he's willing to stay for a little while. Well, 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 there you go. Well. Yes. And, uh, yeah. yeah. And 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 Sue already wanted to get nibbled by the vampire. So yeah. there you go. You know, yeah. I, I'm all about that. I'm waiting to see if I can find one of them. But you know, so far no. We could dye his hair. In fact, what she's trying to convince me is the other part is you're supposed to have a bald old man walk out the door. That sounds suspicious. I don't know about that. Yeah. That that was you know. That was Did you make that one up? No. It was no, that was actually in there? Yeah. It sounds like something that would be. That's why I asked. Yeah. Well, how could it not be good luck if you have a young, good-looking guy knocking on your door saying, you know, I want to come in? I'd be like, hello. Oh, well, hello. as long as he's got a suitcase full of cash, yeah. I'm probably thinking about that for a whole different reason than you are. Uh, but either way. You, you, probably, you yeah. probably are. Either yeah. way. You, you could be. You know, yeah. he could bring you cash. He could bring you other stuff. You know, yeah, uh, sure. Yes. Yeah. Uh, anything else? Any other ones that you have? I'm just kind of fascinated there by them. There are now. probably other ones, but I've already forgotten them because I was trying to remember these ones. Just, so yeah, exactly. Yeah, that hasn't looked good. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. Yeah, there you go. Do, do you guys have any New Year's rituals yeah. that you know of or, or, or actually do abide by every year? My dad always used to have a sweet parent. Oh, New Year's Eve. Really? Yeah. Well, I, I guess it doesn't swing backwards and it doesn't go side to side so much like the crab or it won't well. fly away like the yeah. the chicken. I with, do a lot of things to bring wealth and nothing happens. Nothing happens? So I'm going to the dark age stranger. But you have a wealth of Morgoth. I mean, you know, you have a wealth of Morgoth he at your house. He was a dark haired stranger at See? some point our in our existence. Well, and that's why you're here with us tonight. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's the club. Be happy you're in it. Come on. It's low maintenance, so I keep them alive. See? Right. 
Yeah, because I'm not. I'm not. So you're doing. Well, you're, you're very high maintenance. He's low maintenance. Yes, yes. You know, only one of us can be high maintenance in a relationship. That, are you saying you're the high maintenance one? Uh -huh. That would be a yes <laughs> from. That would be a yeah. Okay. I am not high maintenance. No? Okay. All right. I'm well, just going to take your word for it. As my father said, never be cheap or easy. So, no, I'm very expensive and I'm very. That's good advice. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. I love it. So that's my, my five minutes of. Inspiration for the new year. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Uh -huh. No, I love it. Did, did we get any response in the chat? Uh, it's, uh, no, they're all stunned. Everybody's <laughs> stunned. Everybody's out opening the door and looking for that dark haired guy and money. And well, I can't play Greg, Greg says, I was literally just talking about your cable access the other day. Oh, really? Awesome. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, man. Uh, thank you for being here tonight with us, too. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you checked out the playlist of uh, what we have from the cable show on YouTube, but there's a few of them up there and um, we're looking to get more up there or maybe as they change the rules on music, because at first they were fine with the music and then they got stringent about, you know, started to kind of make it hard to post them because of the music content, but everybody's been paid for. It was made on a cable system that had a music license. So uh, we're trying to, work around it or see how that's going to go but there's a bunch of them up there now so if you haven't looked at them please go check them out that's funny that you're talking about it i was talking to somebody else about it not long ago and it's like i still get recognized for that crazy ass show to this day i mean years later and i shaved my head and the look has changed a bit and people still remember the show and i'm just glad that they remembered it fondly you know it was a, it was a good time i mean we did that for seven years out of the park forest station on um on jones inner cable good old jones inner cable and um uh mr punk monk number one was there and punk monk 69 was there kevin and um like i said uh lauren uh, the whipping boy very much there I'm, I'm trying to find we made this great commercial that I, I'm, I'm looking through the my archive of stuff to put on there for you that has a young lauren in it um and it's the um it is the uh, autopsy barbie commercial we made for the show and you guys are going to love that when we run that thing. I will find it and I will get it on. I will get it on here. Or I'll get it on on YouTube. So something some more weird fun for you in, the, in the, the new year. But I'm so glad that all you guys that were they're either there or remember it or got to see it. I'm 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 thrilled that you guys remember it fondly. That, that thank you. That is awesome. Uh, Jamie Dunn says it's Jamie. I signed up Jamie. on YouTube so I don't have to use my like, Facebook. Perfect. Uh, Ariana uh, Cherry. Ariana. Hello, Ariana. Yeah, thank you for uh, joining us tonight. How are you doing? Is he really? You know, that is weird. I was just talking about Mothman with, with Morgoth before the show. So we are psychically linked. Ariana Cherry says, we should talk again sometime. Up. Yes, phone, please. Yes. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I was just talking to, to Mistress K about this is that we've all got a phone in our pocket 24 seven. Nobody wants to talk to each other. So let's have a chat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, William Wyman says, uh, New Year's Day, we Irish eat corned beef, black eyed peas, and black cabbage. I have heard the black eyed peas things before that those are supposed to be good luck or yeah, something, aren't they? The collard greens. So soul food for New yeah, Year's well, Eve. Fun. Ah, that sounds awesome. Yeah. Let's make a soul food pizza. Come on. Absolutely. Ah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. I knew I had heard that one before. Vicky Patil says, I stay home, cook, and watch the countdowns. Drunk drive, uh, drunk Absolutely, it's amateur night. I mean, I, I used to work. Uh, you go out and perform in nightclubs a lot on New Year's Eve, and I, and I liked it. It was fun, but um, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of happy not to go out all the time on that night. I mean, plus there's spookier occasions, so that's just better for us anyway, right? Ooh, I like the sound of that. Thank you. Yeah. One of my favorite memories was the drag race. Oh, yes. 
Yeah. Uh, well, Sir Kevin, you were there for that, I believe. That was one of our, we did, uh, a, it was like a live feed, live stream for several hours. We did like two or three of those through, through the seven year run of the cable show. There was a few nights where we went live with the cable show and we had a bunch of people in and we were giving away prizes and people could drive to the cable studio and pick up their prizes or be on the show. And we have people come on and do the drag race. And the drag race was um, these guys had to get in. Uh, we took two guys. They had to get fully dressed up in drag and women's clothes. To And the first one that got completely dressed won. And we did that live on the air. And Voodoo Baby talked to people live on the air, which was fun. We'll have to set that up on here one night where Voodoo Baby gets to talk live with the audience. And um, can do the drag on here. We could do that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Alex Painter, we're moving on from that. Uh, Alex Painter, uh, I was happy to be part of the cable show. Uh, Thank you. Bill Baldwin says I love the hot house party. Yeah, and Bill's been on the cable show too. Yeah. Uh, hey, Greg, says, by the way, this is Gibson, the one who used to host the killer Halloween party back in the day. Yes. Yes. Always great parties. Thank you, Gypsy, for being with us. Because you were working, you, you work Fright Fest now, right? Yeah, because I think you had passes and I, I wasn't able to take advantage of that because I was too busy myself. But that is, yeah, you're very, you're a very ooky spooky Halloween kind of person too. So thank you. I'm glad you're with us tonight. Thank you for, you know, coming and hanging out. Uh, William says, uh, thank you, Lady Morgoth, the New Year's Eve information. Of a round of applause in the chat for Mrs. Morgoth. Yeah, those are cool. Yeah, yeah it's interesting. Oh, good. Yeah. That's what anybody does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, beauty of the, beauty of the, the what? I said she's the beauty and the beauty of the beast. Yeah. beast. Well, I, you know, beast is good. That's a good gig. Um, did you want to run your uh, master action? Oh, the, yeah, the, the cup. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, uh, um, as we're getting towards the end of this thing, uh, I do want to remind you, uh, like, subscribe, comment liberally, share. You can share the, the live feed. It, it'll, it'll archive as soon as we're done, and you can share the link so you can infect your friends with the, uh, with the vampire blood. And uh, what else did I want to tell you? Um, so, you know, like I, yeah, especially on, on YouTube, because uh, you know the evil book of face can be sketchy sometimes, so we live stream there. But um, please subscribe on YouTube. We're building that up, and there's a lot of content there because uh, it, it's it just looks better and it's easier. A better place to have the video is over there, and I've got a whole bunch of shorts now on there too. Uh, so check that out, um, and you can find me in, in other places as well. But uh, you know, come in and. Uh, and subscribe on YouTube if you're not yet. I know most of you are because you get then you'll get notifications when these uh, when I'm scheduling the live streams and everything. Because we had this, we were going to do it like two times earlier in the month, but yeah. we it kept getting pushed back because of holiday stuff, schedules, weather, and everything. So that way you know exactly when it's coming out. And um, uh, also, if you'd like to support uh, our streams in the channel, uh, please check out some of our merch. And here's a little look. At one of our big sellers right here. Yeah. The Fitzgerald's realm, Nosferatu, not a morning person mug. Perfect for your favorite warm beverage. Order right from your coffin. Get yours. Now. <laughs> yes, don't you want a nice Nosferatu mug? Of course you do. And it's the not a morning person mug. So if you're not a morning person, because I'm certainly not, that's for you. I made that just for us not morning people. And there's a bunch of other things in the store. And again, the link will be down uh, in the description in the chat etc etc uh and um and thank you for coming out hang bubble? pardon what uh it's the gear bubble link yeah, yeah thank you yep so there's the gear bubble store he just put up there 
and you can take a look at there. We've got shirts, we've got mugs, we've got a poster, we've got uh, masks for anybody who's still wearing a mask because they were recommending that in some spots again. Uh, so anyway, lots of cool merch. Uh, it supports uh, the streams and the channel. And uh, we all thank you for that if you decide to go grab some of the merch. And uh, any last questions? We're going to wrap up here because we're over an hour at this point. So uh, we, remember the 13th is our next live stream. And I'll have a special announcement about uh, a project on the 13th. Hey, uh, yes. Uh, David says uh, you'll have to make plans to come next year. Yes. Uh, I'd love to. William says is a great Oh, yeah, they are. Yeah. That's actually me in the Maserati makeup. That, that's part of the photo series we did with uh, the awesome photographer, Jim Sorfley. Uh, Beth says, love it. Vicky yeah. Fitzgerald says, happy new year to you. Vicky, William yeah. says, happy new year, Ron. This Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Faye Dragon, just make they're in there we did the we've got the triangle logo uh from the cable show era so triangle logo with um the the echo the realm echo down the back of dig it stick it love it shove it cram it slam it damn it janet that's on the back of that one so if you look in there the vintage shirts are in there so you'll like that there's 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 cool stuff. And if you want that on anything else, like a hoodie or a, a mug or something, let me know and I can make that happen. Because right now we have we have the uh, the unisex t-shirts that have those on it. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, right. And and what, what Lauren was talking about earlier was the Uncle Wiggly song. We used to sing that at our live shows all the time. And, and it started, I it didn't, um, Lauren, didn't that start on the cable show? We did it on the cable show and then that carried on the live show or did it start at a live show and that went to the cable show? I think we did it on the show first and then everybody wanted us to do it with them a, 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 as like a group sing along at the live show. Uh, Ariana uh, said you need to play Funko Pop of yourself. Oh, uh, Oh, like a pop socket thing? No, the Funko Popper. Oh, you mean the bobbleheads? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's never going to happen. No, so I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Uh, oh, with the classic logo on it? Done. I will make that happen for you. I'll get it in the store. Alex, uh, Vegas just wanted to say happy New Year's, everyone. The Baldwin says, that's your first t-shirt. Uh, the Baldwin. Yeah. first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bill, oh man, you have like the ancient, ancient shirt, don't you? With like the old triangle logo. That was, that was the very first one I did in the early 80s. And that's before I was doing really uh, hardcore, you know, uh, dark, uh, sticky, fun magic. And it uh, it was a little more normal then. I mean, I started, there was hair, there was birds, there was bunnies. It's frightening. It's, it was frightening, um, but quite amusing. And it was a good start. Uh, but the, the first logo looks very much because i'm a whovian i'm a big fan of the doctor um it looks very much like the old tom baker logo which is actually what they've gone back to right now for their 60th anniversary on doctor who oh, right. yeah they've gone back to it it's um it looks just like the old tom baker logo the the diamond logo mm -hmm. and but now there's a little sheen on it it's got some color change and they play the regeneration sound underneath it oh, okay. it's cool it's animated now so anyway, you know, for those of you who aren't Whovians, you just give us a second while we geek out together. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, Peggy, God, we were so young back then. It feels like a different time ago. Back before the pandemic, back before the war on terror. Uh, so Bill with this lady, Rachel, played the guitar to it. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She did play the guitar in Uncle Wiggly, didn't she? Uh, Maria was key and Maria, oh, thank you, Maria, for being here. It's always love when you show up. Maria is awesome. She's got uh, T and Telly uh, here on, on YouTube. Uh, go take a look at her channel. Subscribe to it. Follow her. She has awesome live streams, and she's gorgeous. So very, very nice to look at while she's working. And um, if you go in and look in, in her um, 
and her through her uh, stream or through her playlist and stuff. I I forget how long ago, about a year ago or so. Uh, I was she had me on the show. So go check out Maria uh, here on YouTube and everything. But Maria, thank you. Happy New Year. I'm glad you joined us. I'm always thrilled when you come and hang with us. Ariana Cherry says I will draw a fun pop design for you. <laughs> All right, you're on. But it's gonna look funky with my big naked head on a Funko Pop. So. Uh, say I remember uh, you doing a live show in a storefront, and you let my son be an assistant. He still talks about it. That is all. Yes, we did. That was actually it was one of the weirdest gigs. If you got a minute, I'll tell you about it. It, it. We did a show in the storefront window of Right On Futon, downtown Chicago. And it was awesome. It was a it was a Halloween that was warm. It was damn near 70 that day. It was warm and breezy. And they had to watch us through the window. We had speakers outside. And I did an illusion show in the window of Right on Futon. And uh, they were all out on the sidewalk and, and a little bit into the into the parking in the, in the street and everything. But they had to watch me through the window, kind of like Hannibal Lecter, you know, on the lamb still screaming, Larry. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Um, and uh, and we did. We did that big show. And towards the end of it, we actually got got shut down or almost shut down because they, they showed up uh, the, the Chicago PD. Chicago police came to shut us down because we had too many people on the sidewalk. There was there was loud you know, music and everything coming out of the speakers to, so they could hear us through the window. And um, and the cops were rolling up like five squads were rolling up with the lights going and the sirens blaring just as i was setting a woman on fire in a coffin in that window so we were glad it was the end of the show and 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 uh, uh mark the owner of the store uh uh he ran out to head off the cops while i finished the show for everybody and that's the show she's talking about and her son came in we, we brought him in to help us with some of the audience stuff inside that 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 weird venue but it's one of the weirdest gigs i've ever done is the uh the storefront window thing with you know that you know th there's storefront theaters and this was kind of a version of that maria says uh much love to you ron uh, william says he's the 10th and uh, 12th doctor of my favorites which one 10th and 10 10 and 12. so that would be 10 and and Capaldi, yeah, I'm very fond of the fourth Doctor as well. Yeah. We're talking classic Who, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, I would very much agree. I also like Matt Smith. Matt, Matt seems to be a big yes or no for people. I love Matt Smith as well. So the eleventh Doctor, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And actually, Eccleston, the ninth Doctor, highly underrated because he yeah. only had one season. But Eccleston, we wouldn't be sitting here yeah. talking about it today if Eccleston wasn't so damn good in that. So I, I'm sorry he had creative differences with Russell T Davies, the showrunner, who's actually back now. So anyway, uh, probably too much Doctor Who geek out for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have to do a whole, uh, we're going to have to do a Doctor Who night. Uh, Maria, uh, says, oh my God, you're sweet. Well, so are you. You are awesome. Uh, we were a rowdy bunch. Yes, we, we are. We're a crazy bunch. And you guys come back for all the live streams. And I cannot thank you enough because eternal gratitude and thanks to all of my lovely gothy dark sticky vampire friends out there you guys uh, you you're awesome so thank you yeah yes we want to do that we talked for a long time about doing what we call the realm reunion and getting as many people that have worked uh, you know either on the cable show or the live show and get, and get everybody together so uh, uh we will i'd love to do that so thank you for that idea because i'd love 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 to make that happen oh uh william hartnell yeah yeah yes yes i like hartnell i i, I think i like uh, the second doctor troughton patrick yeah. troughton yeah and that's where the bow tie came from where that matt yeah. smith got that from Patrick Troughton. So yeah, very cool. He was good. I liked the second doctor a lot. Okay, well, we're running into we are, hour we're hour out of here. So um, yeah, well, we're almost at an hour and a half, but I mean, you guys wanted to hang out tonight. So thank you. 
And thanks for spending some of your holiday time with us tonight. And uh, come back again Friday the 13th. I'll have an announcement on that live stream. And it'll be cool. It's a very cool project. And I think you guys will uh, be very into it. And there'll be more. There's, there's other stuff coming into 2023. So I wish you all a uh, dark, sticky, prosperous, awesome, great new year in the new year. Uh, be, if you're going out tomorrow, be careful and safe on the roads. Um, don't drink and drive. Drink and stay home. Yeah. Thank you, Mistress K, for joining us tonight at the last minute. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Mrs. Morgoth for coming on with her segment. Yeah. And of course, Morgoth, I'm always thankful that you are here making sure that shit's running. <laughs> so that is awesome. If anybody ever saw what goes on. Oh, there's always, we're always like trying to, we got new equipment we were working in tonight and, and it's going better. I mean, our very first live stream looked terrible and it was an hour and a half late before we actually got on, got the thing working. So, yeah. So be very happy. We know what the hell we're doing now for the most part. Um, but we're, we're always thrilled that you guys show up and it makes it way more fun when you, you are there and hanging out with us and that you engage so much i love that you you know participate in the chat and we all get to you know talk together and that's the great thing about doing this rather than just just television when we did the cable show i couldn't just talk back and forth to you guys so this is actually more fun in that way so thank you all again for being here and i wish you just the most awesome uh new year full of dark sticky fun for all of you for each and every one of you just a mountain of dark sticky fun and i'll help bring you some of it all right so for tonight on the behalf of all of us happy freaking new year uh pop a cork for me and we will see you on friday the 13th in the new year nighty night hello subscribe like comment subscribe like comment subscribe like comment subscribe like Comment, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, like, comment.